What's up, hardware? Welcome to your final wad brief of the week for Saturday, the 30th. Uh, I'm filming these way in advance, but I'm just gonna cross my fingers that we're all getting really good news right now about the Northeast region moving on to phase three, and we're gonna be good to go in no time. Just like that time I told you it was gonna be sunny and 70, right? That worked out really well. Uh, so let's go into our warm up here. Three rounds, 30 seconds, run in place because who knows what the weather will do. 12 lunges in the first round. I want those to be reverse lunges. And in the second round, let's do lateral lunges, which for me, that's a little tough on my knees to step in and out of a lateral lunge. So I'm gonna consider it more of a Cossack squat, a short Cossack squat. Let's spread them out here and go here. One, two, three. It's all done six on each leg, or you can switch them back and forth. Third round, let's do front and back. Or if you have the space, you can do walking lunges. Then the last piece of this three rounder is going to be to hold the dumbbell, a weight, any weight, overhead in a nice locked out position as if you've just pressed it like a strict press for 20 seconds. Keeping your glutes on, keeping your abs tight, pressing, pressing, and not looking lazy about it, all right? 20 seconds each arm. That's your three round warm up. Then, I don't know why I put that down, I need it for everything. Then, we are going to work up to doing five strict presses with your dumbbell, like I just showed you, or kettlebell, here. Keeping everything nice and tight. Press, biceps to the ears. Five reps, up to your working weight of the day today. So if you have multiple weights in your house, start off nice and light and then get to what you want to use in today's workout. All right. Same on the other side, five per arm. And we want to work up to a set of 10 lunges holding your dumbbells. This workout was written to have two dumbbells, um, but not many of us have two dumbbells. So you can just hold it however you like if you have a single. But we want to work our way into 10 lunges with your weight. All right, so take as many sets as you need, as much warming up as you need with those movements to get up to your working weights of presses and lunges, okay? Then we're gonna do a little test round of today's workout, which means uh, we're gonna kind of bring the rep scheme down a little bit. Three presses, you can do one, two, three, or one, two, three, switch, one, two, three, six lunges, and then either a 100 meter run, row, or 30 seconds of cardio. Whatever you wanna do, cardio, okay? One round of that, we should be good to go. Here's the workout. This is from CrossFit.com. It is a 30 minute AMRAP, 30 minute AMRAP of 20 weighted lunges. 20 strict presses, and a 200 meter row. Now, that's what was written on .com. I'm well aware that most people, like myself, don't have a rower at home. Uh, if you do, get after it. The only requirement is I want that, whatever your rowing distance to be, it should be less than a minute. For the whole workout, it should be less than a minute. 200 meters or something that's less than a minute. If you have a bike, same deal, less than a minute talking 45 second effort, okay? Um, I've done this one before on a C2 bike and I used 450 meters was my, that was right, I just tested it. I said, how far can I get in 45 seconds? That's what it was and that's what I kept. You can also run something like a 200 meter um, or 45 seconds. Or you could stay indoors and pick any cardio movement that'll just get you out of breath for 45 seconds, jumping jacks, um, you know, squat thrust, you can do whatever you want, something that keeps you out of breath for 45 seconds, okay? So, a couple of things to note. The first one was that sub one minute cardio, we've talked about that. Secondly, in, in this 30 minute AMRAP, I want you to shoot for seven to 10 rounds. Seven to 10 rounds is a lot of rounds. It doesn't sound like it because you have 30 minutes, but let's break that down a little bit, let's do a little bit of wad math. You have at the end of the round, a 45 second endeavor. If you're using a bike or rower or something, or even running, 
you got to budget in that last 15 seconds to kind of get in and out of your rower, on and off your bike, in and out of your front door. So the cardio really takes one minute, right? Or if you're like me, I do my 45 seconds and I grab a towel on my face, put some deodorant on. I just find any excuse to fill in the gaps. So what's a one minute of cardio? That means you only have two minutes to do 20 weighted lunges and 20 strict presses. If you wanna stay on a 10 round pace. Let me tell you right now, it's probably not gonna happen. But that makes the round a lot more intense because three minutes is pretty short. You gotta kinda of truck through this, okay? Seven to 10 rounds, I didn't do the math on what your pace would need to be to do seven rounds, four-ish, right? Mm -hmm. right? Math whiz, uh, four-ish. For, um, but still, those strict presses are going to get you. It's going to get really tiring in that, in that realm. Um, the last thing I want to note is that, uh, as I already covered in the warm-up kind of thing, this is meant to have double dumbbells pressing for 20 reps. So if you are someone who has only one implement to press, you've got to do 20 on one arm and then 20 on the other arm. You can mix them up. You can do 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. But I want you to get 20 per arm. So... That's going to kind of skew your workout a little bit because obviously it takes longer to do 40 presses than it does to do 20 presses. That's totally okay. I would rather have you get in the pressing than stay with the time domain, okay? So just note that if you have one uh, implement at hand. That is it. That is a monster workout. It's going to leave your feeling really good. <laughs> Uh, and that's our last workout for the week. So I hope you uh, come to yoga tomorrow. We can recover. We can stretch it on out. It's going to be a great time. Uh, that's it for the week. I'll see you next week.